Hi, it's B, and welcome back to my channel. Alright, so last night I made these pumpkin dark chocolate chip muffins, and I made pumpkin dark chocolate chip and nut cookies, and I made some pumpkin quinoa dark chocolate chip bars. Today is Pastor Appreciation Day, and I'm bringing these to church with me, and I used some organic pumpkin puree, some quinoa. The silk creamer is actually cookies that I just made in the oven now, so this is not in any of these. I used organic almond flour, some coconut oil, organic, a pinch of vanilla, sea salt, a little bit of baking powder. I did use some organic monk fruit, organic, um, non-GMO, some cinnamon, some pumpkin pie spice that I don't have out here, a little bit of Nature's Promise organic maple syrup. And I'm pretty sure that is it. And these are not in eggs, sorry. <laughs> Organic eggs, obviously. Yep. And I just followed the recipe that I found online. Almond flour. Monk fruit sweetener. Sorry for that long pause. Pumpkin. I didn't think to make the video yesterday. Well, I did think it, but there was more people in the house and really couldn't do it. And today, right now, actually in the oven, I have blueberry. I did make a video, but I didn't talk because it's like 7 in the morning. I'm trying to be quiet. But in the oven right now, I have blueberry, apple, quinoa, and a little bit of this caramel creamer. Um, cookies. I'm kind of winging it. But, yeah, I'm bringing these. There was way more of these, but I didn't want to unwrap them all. Because they already have them packed up to go. Look at the coconut oil on that. I did try them. They are good. I'm not really like too keen on. I mean I love coconut. But I haven't been able to eat it. But I did eat one of these. Because I had to try it of course. And they are delicious. And so far so good. And there's not a lot of dark chocolate chips. And they are non-dairy chocolate chips. Very 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 important. And a little bit of um, nuts in there. Which are cashews macadamia nuts brazil nuts i think that's it for the nuts and these all oh, pumpkin seeds you can see and quinoa and these are bars these i made for myself because these do not have coconut oil in case i wouldn't be able to eat one of these because i don't really do coconut but i treated myself to some dark chocolate chips in there see that you know occasionally you can't always just treat with french fries once in a while right <laughs> So I started this last night and I am up, I've been up since about 4.30 in the morning, a little TMI for you, baking since 6, but this again was last night, Pastor Appreciation Day. If you like my videos, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you. Alright, so these are the cookies that I showed in the video with me not saying anything. Sorry, it's really early in the morning and I'm baking for Pastor Appreciation Day and I half follow the recipe and half win the rest. So, I will post these with the other cookie videos that I made and muffins that I made last night. All the ingredients are shown there and I'll try to put in... Um, the measurements of what I do now. <laughs> okay, so in here though we have, um, well, I'm already drawing a blank. Oh, almond flour and manuk, um, not manuk, um, monk fruit, sorry, sugar, quinoa, apples, blueberry, all organic, um, pinch of sea salt, cinnamon, um, syrup, 100% maple syrup, and coconut oil all right so these ones are a little bit smaller they're gonna be out i'm not gonna burn them because some of them are looking golden and these are gonna go back in the oven the oven is on 350 and they've been cooking for about probably 10 to 12 minutes i'm gonna put them in for another five these in the pan these are done and they are good apple and blueberry just winging it, pretty much winging it. Balled half the ingredients and then winged it with the rest. Did not call for quinoa, apples, or blueberries. So, yeah. This is the same mixture. I just have it in a glass dish in the oven. 
because it, honestly I ran out of cookie space on my cookie sheet and I thought well why not just have an individual kind of like if you go to a restaurant and get like a hot cookie skillet okay well this is my hot cookie glass bowl yep it's gonna go back in the oven this obviously is gonna take longer because it's thicker Ooh, 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 and it does taste good. I took a little piece out of there. Just a little bit. You guys know I don't eat coconut oil. I don't eat sugar, but it's not refined sugar. Um, and it's just one. So I think I'll survive as long as I don't overdo it. So, um, don't plan on it, guys. I'm not making these for me. <laughs> I will try them, though. I can't give food away and not try it. Come on, Chef Ramsay. Taste your food, guys. Taste your food. All right, so my apple, blueberry, quinoa, and oat cookies are done. I forgot to say that there's oats in it. There's definitely oats in here. They're organic, and oats are naturally gluten-free. Everything here is gluten and dairy-free. It's not sugar-free. I do have the monk fruit sugar in here. But these are all my cookies, and this is my glass cookie dish, kind of like a cookie skillet if you go to a restaurant and you order it hot. You could add some, you know, yogurt on top. I recommend cashew yogurt, maybe vanilla. I mean, I buy plain and kind of put cinnamon and doctor it up myself with honey. So you could add that on top. You can add some cashew butter on top if you want, or just eat it like that. You don't have to add anything on top. There is non-dairy ice cream out there. I don't recommend it. It's full of chemicals, even though it is delicious. Not going to lie. But in a restaurant, you would get a skillet and they would have ice cream on top. So that's what, I'm, that's what this is. It is a hot cookie bowl. And these are my cookies. There's apples in here. There's blueberries. There's quinoa. There's oats. Coconut oil. Monk fruit sugar. What else? A pinch of baking soda. Or no, sorry. Baking powder. Cinnamon. And I feel like that's it. Oh, a splash of vanilla. I half followed a recipe and half winged it. So, yeah. I don't really know, <laughs> but it came out good and they're delicious. So just call it delicious, you guys. You already know apple, blueberry, oat, and quinoa cookies for Pastor Appreciation Day. We are celebrating it today, and I'm bringing these to church. Maybe not this. Maybe. This is my individual bowl. <laughs> there is coconut oil. I don't know if I said that, but anyway, if you like my videos, please like, share, and subscribe. They're cooked in the oven on 350 probably all together for 15 minutes i just kept checking it and if some were done before others i took them out and put them on a plate so i just kept checking i don't really know i don't have all the answers guys sorry i'm winging it just winging it just call it delicious thanks